Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today, electric motor repair. But what are we doing in the woods with an old tub with Henry the Labrador in it? Uh, we're at the bottom of a spring that's on our property and we have a pump that pumps water from this spring up and irrigates our vegetable garden. It's in a pump house. And it's in a pump house, which looks like a bunker in the hill here. It's a raccoon house. And it's not working. And a new pump is like $180, so I thought maybe I can fix it. So I talked to Mike, uh, who's my co-host on Garden Fork Radio, and he gave me a couple tips, and we're going to replace a couple parts, see if we can fix the motor for the pump. Is Mike here? No, but we got him on the phone. Okay. But anyway, this is the overflow. This is an old tub, and the Labradors love to come down here and jump in and play, or just sit here very stoically like this one's doing. It's so, a four-season tub, too. It is, really, non-stop. It's a lot of fun. All right. Let's go. This is the spring. Underneath this tin shed is kind of like a concrete swimming pool with the spring right in the middle. Water just coming up constantly. So this is like a big cistern with a cover. The pipe in the bottom goes up to the pump house and that's where the motor is we gotta fix. Here we are in the pump house. This could be a, uh, ah. A lot of mosquitoes back here. Anyway, talking to Mike, he suggested that we replace the capacitor on the electric motor because when we turn the circuit breaker on the power of the pump, it stays on for a couple seconds and then it pops off. And that suggests that the capacitor is bad. These are 15 bucks, it's worth a try. Here's our pump. Here's the water going out up to the house. Here's our capacitor. The old capacitor sat right in here. I'm gonna trim these wires and connect this up also, on electric motors, if it's not the capacitor, you can check the windings or the coil of wire in the motor with an ohm meter to check as well. If there is a break in the windings, the motor won't work. Are you going to watch this? This is our uh, workplace. <laughs> We're in the pump house with all these mosquito things. I've cut these two wires that are going to the capacitor. I've put these two spade connectors on the capacitor. I'm going to put these on here and crimp them with our crimping tool. Here's our spade connector, the wire in here. We press this to crimp it in. Like that. Good. That was successful? Yeah. Okay. Alright, I've got the capacitor in here. I had to modify the shell a little bit to get it to fit. I'm going to put the cover back on. Prime the pump, turn on the power. All right, what's next? Uh, next we turn the circuit breaker on and see what happens. Oh, the moment of truth. Yeah. I wonder what we'll see. I guess we'll just hear something. <gasps> mm. All right, I don't know what happened, so we're gonna have to go to part two of this. See what we can fix. <laughs> we need the spring. Yeah, we need the water. <laughs> All right, to be continued. In the meantime, let's watch the Labradors. Alright, so I thought the capacitor was the problem and ended up it was a much bigger problem, so we had to replace the pump. But when your well pump or you know you're just your electric motor goes out, check the capacitor first. It's the most inexpensive thing. Just replace it. They're about 10-15 bucks. Sometimes the store where you bought the pump sells spare parts like that, or their website will sell it, or you can get it from some electronic suppliers. Not bad, huh? No. This pump supplies our uh, drip irrigation system for our garden. So a very can, dry garden. A very dry garden. So you can click on the link here and you can watch also um, 
our soaker hose drip irrigation system videos as well. We will have one for rooftop gardens and for our raised beds. Come to our site for more cool stuff about DIY, cooking, gardening, beekeeping, truck repair, water hose repair, water pump repair. It's a heat wave, good timing. Yeah, we're on all the social networks. We're on Google, Facebook, Pinterest, whatever else they've invented lately, Twitter. Twitter's old. Make it a great day. We'll see you later.